Hi, I'm Diego Alonso with DiegoAlonsoGuitar.com and today we're going to talk about how the thumb is used in flamenco guitar. That's the right hand thumb or the pulgar. I'm going to do a quick demo at the beginning to show you how it's applied and then I'll do a close up to break it down for you. understand is that there are two basic kinds of thumb attacks on the guitar. The first one is a rest stroke where you land on your adjacent string, the string below the one you're playing, and the other one is a free stroke where you don't touch the, the adjacent string. Okay, Both of them are valid and used very often in flamenco. In the demo that I just did it's mostly rest stroke so I'm going to focus on the rest stroke today. All right. When you do a rest stroke you want, for, for now we're going to have your I or I and M index and middle fingers touching your first string. Okay and your thumb on the sixth string. So what you want to do is you want to let the hand drop or you're pivoting on these contact points. Right? If, you, if you can't figure that out, then just remove I and M and just pivot on your thumb. You want to drop your hand a little bit so that the tip of the thumb is pointed slightly upward. So you don't want to go down, you want to be slightly upward. Okay, then you can play I and M. The reason you want that slight upward angle is so that you can slide off the string and land on the adjacent string. Otherwise, if it's up here, you're going to be fighting the strings. It's going to be too hard. Okay, so slight downward position on the thumb, and that's your rest stroke angle of attack. All right. So we want to first isolate just the thumb movement. Okay, so we're going to be do two rest strokes per string, just isolating the thumb. Notice it's moving. The whole thing is moving. Right. I'm not bending. It's the it's the thumb is pretty straight. I'm just moving like that. Okay. So all rest strokes. When you get down here, you got to drop the hand a little bit more, and you can release the fingers, and then go back down. Isolate the thumb as much as possible. Okay, as you get more comfortable with that, you can go a little bit faster. Don't go too fast. If you get tense, pull back on the speed so you can remain light and relaxed. Remember, the point is going to be light and relaxation. Always relax as much as possible. All right, the next thing we want to extra we want to do is focus on the rotation of the forearm. So we want to avoid this. No breaks in the wrists in either direction, none of that stuff. So you can find the right angle, just rest your forearm on the guitar like this, kind of hang out, and let your hand drop. Okay? So imagine you had a metal beams on your hand. You cannot move your hand up, down, or left and right. You're just gonna rotate your forearm. So your hand swings like a pendulum. Okay? Okay, that's what we want to do here, just with our thumb sticking out. Okay, thumb again is, is straight. All right? So you can curl the fingers in a little bit. I like to plant I and M on my first string, but the first thing you should do is make sure you get the right movement. So we're going to attack each string from the air like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right? Once you get that comfortable, then we're going to do move on to the another drill where it's going to be starting with the rest. You're going to plant, I mean, and rotate down to the next string and then attack that same string from there. So it's going to be two times per string. So it's one, two, one, two. So it's rested and then from the air. When you go back down, it's all in the air. Again, I mentioned I like to have my index and middle fingers down. It helps me stabilize my hand. So you can always do that if you feel more comfortable. Again, only as fast as your tension limit permits. Okay. Finally, you want to combine the two. All right. So that should start to happen kind of naturally, but you can try it three times per string, starting rested and then two times in the air. So one and then air, air. So when you're rested, ready to go, rest, air, air. Again, remaining 
super, super light. Thanks for watching. For more information on in-person lessons in Chicago, Illinois, or online lessons, visit me at diawalonsoguitar.com or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash diawalonsoguitar. Thanks.